All right, so for those of you just tuning in, uh, we are about to do another viewer battle. This time, uh, another rematch against Pokemon Master Ren. He happened to be very, very lucky in the sense that he happened to actually win the live stream battle drawing. I have no idea how he managed to win that, but he did. So, this time I'm running a, a different team. Uh, I just grabbed six Pokemon from my box. What we're running this time is I have my Reuniclus, my Quagsire, my Ampharos, my Gudra, my Galvantula, and my Skarmory, my shiny Skarmory. Thank you to Pokemon Master Ren for actually uh, donating that. Oh, and uh, the Shock, unfortunately, Bullet Punch is not a TM. Uh, Chamber Man, I, I, I've tried Trushing before, but it tends to give me mixed results. <laughs> it's a risky strategy. Wait, it did Alarun? That's actually really weird. We'll have to, you'll have to give me more details on that. Uh, as to why that happened. Anyway, let's get this battle on the road. If you're wondering why I'm using the non-in-game audio, it's because YouTube seems to have a problem with uh, me using the in-game audio, so. <laughs> Copyright problems. All right. I'm gonna the volume is good, guys. I wanna make sure that the uh, music that I play is not, not too loud. Ren is a very, very active member of my uh, Twitch stream, on Facebook and whatnot. Very, very cool guy. He's incredibly active, and he is known for, I guess his thing is that he breeds all of his Pokemon, or he trades them all to make sure that his entire teams are shiny, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, he led with Donphan, probably predicting me to lead with my Galvantula, which is smart. Okay, well, anyway... I led with Galvantula, why? Because I'm my team is relatively dependent on Sticky Web and enjoys Sticky Web, so I'm gonna go set up Sticky Web this turn. Oh, he's gonna set up Stealth Rock. Oh no! That's annoying. Okay, well, hmm. I'm gonna stay in though, because uh, I, I really don't. I gotta remember to take a picture of people's teams, man. I, I don't. I only do that when I'm battling people off stream, but when I'm battling them on stream, oh, that was really smart. He went for the knockoff there. It looks like my focus sack. Went for the bug buzz to get as much damage on this thing as possible. Hmm. I'm actually really glad I didn't switch out then. I don't want anything to take a knockoff. If I switched out there, that would have been really bad. I still don't want anything to take this knockoff. <laughs> If he goes for another one, I really don't want anything to take it. So I'm just going to stay in. I'm going to go for a bug buzz here. Uh, the the manual overlay, I mean, sorry, the manual delay on Twitch, I, I definitely don't appreciate it. Oh, wait, wait. Alarun, you mean like an hour and 30 minutes? Because that makes sense in that case. Because, yes, it, it's, it's not supposed to be able to fight you forever. Uh, at some point he does run out of resources. It might seem like he has infinite resources, but he is supposed to run out of resources. If you think that that's a problem, though, I might be able to... I might, uh, adjust that, I guess? But I, I felt that uh, since AV2HD gets laggier over time, I wanted to make sure that if the AI couldn't win in a set number of time, he would eventually run out of resources. Uh, there's a lot of conditions involved in that, though. Like, he, But uh, he, he doesn't have infinite resources. Ooh, I really, really love to see uh, Zeb Strika, definitely. These things usually carry Sap Zebra as their ability, meaning that if I hit him with a Grass-type move, it will raise his attack stat instead. I think I'm faster than him after the Sticky Web. I'm, okay, I am. That's, that's good. Oh, shit, he has Lightning Rod and not Sap Zipper? Oh, God, I might have just fucked myself there. Oh, and he intelligently went for the Pursuit, predicting the switch. But, but... <laughs> he gets cheated because he's running Lightning Rod and not Sap Zipper, and I, I, I always see them run Sap Zipper. I've never seen one run Lightning Rod. Um, but I guess, like, in doubles, you would run Lightning Rod. But anyway, because he's running Lightning Rod, I actually failed the Volt Switch. I was not able to Volt Switch, so his Pursuit won't kill me, which I think is really funny that it actually worked out that way. Otherwise, that would have been a huge play on his part. A huge play on his part. That would have been really smart. But unfortunately, uh, because he's running Lightning Rod, actually, I think that's really funny that it happened to bite him in the butt in that sense. Maybe I'll live this Volt Switch? Nah, of course not. A Bug Buzz did a ton, though. Galvantula doing work, guys. He 
Eventually doing some heavy, heavy work. Alright, let's see what he's sending up now. Amoongus! I really love this guy's uh, this guy's team, definitely. Hmm, who will I send out? That's a great nickname too. Huh. I don't have too many things that want to take take stuff from this guy. Amoongus is very, very bulky. I wall him with quite a few of my Pokemon, though. That's, uh, that's a plus. I can't hit him with Toxic, which is a problem. So I think I'm just gonna send out Skarmory. I'm just send out Skarmory. Why? Because, uh, I, I'm pretty sure... It sucks to use Stealth Rock up. I'm pretty sure that he... I mean, if Amoongus is carrying any attacking moves, it's usually Giga Drain. Sometimes they could be running like a Sludge Bomb or something like that. Either way, I'm immune to Sludge Bomb being Steel-type. The bulk is so real. I resist Giga Drain. Uh, he might be running Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, Spore, or any of that mumbo-jumbo. I actually don't have anything that really wants to be asleep, per se, although Skarmory doesn't really mind. I mean, I might have, like, Synthesis? can run a lot of stuff. Either way, I don't really... Skarmory is not super important to me uh, at this point. So I'm just going to go hit it with the Brave Bird. That way I can check if he's specially or physically defensive. It looks like he's specially defensive. Alright, that's good enough. If he wants to spore me right now, that's chill. Alright, he's going to spore me. Oh, the bulk on that thing is real. Alright, now I know he basically has to be specially defensive, which is what I wanted to figure out. And then that uh, now that something is asleep on my team, since we, uh, since I play with smoke on rules, you can't put anything else to sleep, which is chill. Although I guess I could have just, oh wait, no, that was a that was a big misplay on my part actually. Forgot for a minute. I don't know why I forgot, but my Gujar does have Sap Super, so it would have been pro as fuck if I switched that in. Oh well, I don't really fear this thing. It's probably gonna go for like a synthesis or something like that. I bet I could set up for days on the- oh, he might have Toxic, though. Well, actually, I can set up for days on him. I might be able to- I might just be able to sweep here. I might just be able to sweep. You're waiting for the Giga Drain there. That's fine, that shouldn't do too much. That does- that does a reasonable amount, actually. Wow, I'm an idiot. I should have sent a Gudra. I don't know, for a minute I was only thinking about- I was like, man, if only something on my team had Overcoat. I don't know why, I, I forgot about Sapsifer, I was just talking about it a minute ago. Either way, uh, Bubble Buddy here threatens the ever-loving piss out of this thing. Why? Because uh, Amoongus is, is grass poison, so it's weak to psychic type, and I'm psychic type, so... That's scary! He can't really stay in. If he wants to try and stall me with Toxic, he will be very, very disappointed to find out that I have a... Uh, uh, magic Coat, or Magic Guard, that's what it is, Magic Guard. Which should, uh, protect me from that. This is going to be a calm mind here. I'm a little concerned about this, uh... Zip Strike, uh, I think he... The only move that he would carry to deal with me, uh, is Pursuit. The only thing that would be super effective. I, I, I highly doubt he would... Uh, s carry, like, double dark moves. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is running. I'm actually kind of curious. Actually, legitimately curious. Alright, hit him with the Psy Shock there. That'll learn him. Get a bit of my lefty's recovery. I'm kind of curious to see what he's got uh, in store for my Reniclus right here. Ah, right, Bisharp. That'll do it. <laughs> Oh my. Oh, that's really bad. Because I have Sticky Web that buffs him uh, because of uh, Defiant. Ooh, the threat. The threat is real. The threat is so real. 
Wow. Normally I would be in huge trouble right here. Normally I would be in huge trouble, but thankfully uh, this team of like six randomish pokes that I drafted uh, actually kind of kind of works together. I do have a check for uh, uh, for this here Bishar, which is Dark Steel. It has the ability Defiant, which is pretty scary, which means that if uh, any of his stats were going to be lowered, instead of the stats being lowered, it raises his attack stat instead by like two levels, I think. Might only be one level, I might be mistaken. Unfortunately, he misses the Stone Edge. That didn't really matter. It wouldn't do anything to my Quagsire, but... Uh, damage is damage, and he does miss that, which is unfortunate. It happens. Either way, I don't really fear this thing too much. I think uh, the Blue Ranger thing is a reference to Shofu, I believe. But I really dig this guy. I really dig Ren's team. Ren has really stepped up his game. This team is really, really, really well balanced and really cool. Alright. I was close to going for a Toxic predicting the switch, but uh, he could have very easily brought in a Moongus, which he did. And the Moongus balls the ever-loving crap out of me and can one-shot me with a Giga Drain. So... Hmm. I could very easily go back into Reuniclus and start setting up again, but that seems pointless to me. Because he has Bisharp, and Bisharp just shuts down Reuniclus entirely. So I'm going to run a Gumshoe here, predicting the Grass-type move, whatever it is. Get the Sap Sipper boost right there. Really should have done that on the Spore earlier. I'm going to be kicking myself about that forever. And I'm curious to see what his plan is in this particular situation. Alright, he goes for Protect here to scout my move. Very, very smart. Uh, Ren's movesets are very, very swell. He did get... So he went for the protect there to scout what I was going for, which in this case will be flamethrower. Hmm. <laughs> which means uh, it would be tempting for him to switch in like Bisharp, except you know I was hoping to catch Bisharp in on the on the switch, so I went for flamethrower. I went for a T bolt here because I vaguely remembered his team carrying some sort of water type, and I thought flamethrower would be like you know he'd resist it right. So I went for a T bolt there because and, and ah it's dugong. Shiny Dugong. I love Dugong. Very, very cool. That prediction of mine did, did really pay off of there. That's very, very good. And this thing is going to... Well, it's probably going to have to switch out. <laughs> Wait, actually, I don't think this thing's shiny at all. <laughs> I don't know what Shiny Dugong looks like. Maybe it looks almost exactly the same. But uh, I've got, like, this Flux or whatever the hell that is monitor so some coloration looks off. Some things look shiny to me when they're not. Alright, well, we're gonna go for another T-Bolt here. I don't know what he's gonna switch into. He might just go straight back into a Moongus, which is totally chill. Okay, he did go straight back. Actually, yeah, that might be a shiny Dugog. They look almost the same. Wow, I really can't tell with Flux on my monitor. That's actually really interesting. Alright. Could have gone for a Flamethrower there, but on the off chance that he stayed in one to threat me with an Ice Beam, that would have been bad. Oh, I hate Amoongus so much. <laughs> wow, his team is really good. Hmm. Because of Regenerator, his ability, every time he switches out and comes back in, he heals a little bit of his health. Which is obnoxious as balls. I don't know what he's he's carrying necessarily, though. If he has anything for Gudra at all. So I'm just going to go for another Flamethrower. I don't think it will kill him, honestly. Amoongus is so bulky, the bulk is so real, and we've already established that he's specially bulky. Uh, because that Brave Bird did a uh, cosmic buttload to him. Hmm. Okay, Sludge Bomb didn't really do anything, because I'm a Salt Vest variant. I think, I think Gumshoe, once again, doing incredible work. Gumshoe is unstoppable. Yeah, Gumshoe is absolutely unstoppable. He's a he's a killing machine. He always pulls through for you when you need him. I think Gumshoe. Uh, I don't know if he has anything for me. If he did, he would have already he would have already sent it out. But I think Gumshoe actually walls the piss at him. Unless he had Toxic on his Amoongus, and even then, I, Toxic wouldn't really kill me fast enough. That's probably the only thing that he could hope for. A Soul Vest Gudra is just so nice. It's really doing work. But yeah, Ren's team is really, really good. I, I definitely really, really like it. It's a really well-balanced team. Although, I guess he doesn't have anything for Assault Vest Gudra. Mostly because it's so bulky. Like, 
The Solves Gudra is extremely bulky, and the coverage is really good, so it can be difficult to deal with. I definitely fear his Bisharp, though. What he could have done, I think, after sacking someone, uh, whether it be his Dugong or whatever, I think he could have uh, sent in his Bisharp and forced me to switch with a Sucker Punch. Why? Because he knows that I'm uh, an Assault Vescuger, right? Which means I can only run attacking moves. So he comes in with his Bisharp. Defiant, his ability will proc because of the Sticky Web I have set up, which will raise his attack instead of lowering his speed, making him really scary. Bisharp already hits really hard. And then he's going to use Sucker Punch uh, on me, or he, he could, because that would force me to switch. That would absolutely force me to switch, because if I stay in, I'm going to die to a Sucker Punch, being specially defensive, and him being at, like, plus two from Defiant. So he could have forced me to switch with a Sucker Punch there. And uh, knowing that I can't stay in, knowing that the Sucker Punch is coming, he probably could set up a Swords Dance and really threaten this... Uh, I don't know. That's how he'd get the Gudra out of here. I don't know if that would accomplish too much, but that's definitely how he gets the Gudra out of here. Yeah, just because I happen to have Quagsire, uh, which uh, has the ability Unaware, which is super, super useful. Quagsire's been doing so much work. So much work. Uh, because Quagsire has the ability Unaware, which ignores your opponent's stat boosts. So even though Blue Ranger is going to come in here and he's going to he's gonna get the attack raise from Sticky Web, which he's going to do right now. Super duper scary. Yeah, it is two levels. Okay, yeah. Then I just easily switch out into Quagsire, and I don't think that his, uh, his Bisharp has anything that can kill me. Unless he has Grass Knot for some reason. That would be super trippy. If he had some sort of mixed Bisharp with Grass Knot. That would be crazy. Oh, uh, I'll be doing another giveaway to Shiz right after this battle, actually. So, stay tuned! And no, Ace Trainer Ben, unfortunately I don't really have any dittos to give away that are good. I have, like, two IV ones. <laughs> Otherwise, the the good dittos are the ones I'm holding on to. Yeah, Yankee fan, no, uh... Well, legendaries are allowed, absolutely. But I have a, I have a ban list below my stream. All the rules are below the stream. Of course, if you were watching on mobile, I understand, and I will gladly explain it uh, to you in that case. He's gonna withdraw Blue Ranger. I don't know what his last, uh, his last Pokemon is. Just because I really should have taken a picture of his team. I gotta, I gotta remember that. Oh god, it's Staraptor, that's what it was. So for the EQ there, he intelligently predicts that. Very good play on his uh, on his part. And he's immune to that earthquake. I think I wall his star after as well. Okay, I'm gonna go for the scald here, not the toxic, because he could very easily go back into his bisharp. I don't know why he would, but it's just a thought. That and I think scald and toxic will do relatively the same amount of damage. He can't really he can't really do much. Either way, Scald is just to get some damage on him. If it burns, it burns. It doesn't matter. Also, if he went for close combat, which he did, Scald will do a lot more. Wow, that still did nothing. And I think he went for close combat to avoid doing the recoil damage from Brave Bird. But uh, either way, uh, there's nothing he can do to Quagsire, unfortunately. Quagsire walls the last two Pokemon that he has. Wow, my, uh, my defensive core on this team is really, really strong. It's like Quagsire... Gudra, uh, Skarmory, those three are doing work. Absolutely doing work. That was the point. Holy god, that did way too much damage. Oh, he's got a Citrus Berry. Yeah, I also really like that he put items on all of his Pokemon. If you guys don't have items for all your Pokemon, I understand. It can take a little while to grind those up, but what you want to do is definitely... Wow, that did nothing. Uh, you want to put berries on Pokemon if you don't have held items for them yet. Ruh row. Go out and do. Yeah, I've always, the point of this team is to set up Mega Ampharos for a sweep, but I've never really gotten a chance to do that yet. I'm hoping that'll happen at some point. Oh, Melted Cat, I have good IV dittos. I just don't have good IV dittos to give away, unfortunately. Oh, Wildcat sniping. I'll get the list for you after this game. I have quite a few things. I've got uh, like Gibble, Volby, Growlithe, etc., uh, etc. Et wow, that did so much damage. All right, get a Mega Ampharos. <laughs> I know I'll be able to live this after I Mega Evolve, or, and by I know, I mean I really hope I can. Oh, uh, you cannot, you cannot transfer held items by Pokemon Bank, unfortunately. Oh, you're on mobile, uh, Yankee fan. Uh, basically, the ban list is I just follow Smogon, and what Smogon uh, bans is what I, I 
prefer you guys don't use. I mean, for the most part, that covers the, the, the cover legendaries, basically. The ones that are on the front of every game. Those are always consistently broken as hell. Uh, they, they absolutely ruin the game, uh, from a competitive standpoint at least. Like Mewtwo, uh, freaking uh, Ho-Ho Lugia, uh, Kyogre Groudon Rayquaza. If it's on the cover of a Pokemon game, it's probably banned. Woo! Mega Ampharos with the huge damage. Look at that fabulous, fabulous locks. I gotta name this thing Fabio. I'll probably do that later. Those luscious locks. L'Oreal, or I'll name him L'Oreal, but I'm pretty sure someone else already did that. I see Inuyasha. Also a good option for a name. I like that uh, sneaky sandwich. Let's see, other things that are banned besides the cover legendary. Those are the one. Those are the things I'm like really, really not cool with if people decide to bring those. Otherwise, if you want to bring Pokemon, I'd really prefer no Mega Gengar or no Mega Blaziken. Those two Pokemon are ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous by every standpoint. <laughs> so I'd really prefer that people do not bring those. Uh, Mega Kangaskhan, I'd prefer people don't bring that either because that thing is pretty disgusting as well. That's basically it. Otherwise, yeah, no, please don't make a place again. <laughs> Alright, uh, I went on a Skarmory here, man, dude. Okay, this match is a lot closer than it looks. I might have a lot of guys alive, but I have nothing to take this Skarmory down. Uh, because the Skarmory is much faster than my Quagsire, and my Quagsire can't recover. He can't live a hit, and my Skarmory is asleep. So something's going to have to die on my team. Yeah, something's going to have to die. No, I have to sack something. It's probably going to have to be Skarmory. No! And Skarmory doesn't even wake up. <laughs> oh, he's going to roost! He's giving me a chance. He's giving me a chance. Maybe Chief Ampharos? Tempting as well. Teslano. <laughs> yeah, no Darker Eye. I mean, you use, basically use your judgment. If it's one of those legendaries that's not like the legendary dogs, if it's not a legendary trio, and it's a legendary Pokemon, it's probably disgustingly broken. There's some exceptions, like Shaman is fine, but... You know, it's probably disgustingly broken. Uh, if you think it's broken, it's probably banned. <laughs> that's, that's the general rule of thumb. If you think it's broken, it's probably broken. Ay, Dios mio. I think he went for the Brave Bird predicting the switch or just not wanting to lower his defense anymore, but I'll probably live that Brave Bird, honestly. Please wake up, please wake up, please wake up. <gasps> Get him, Skarmory! <laughs> oh, I should have gone for the Roost there. But I was like, well, if he goes for the close combat and I go for... Well, actually, no, no. Oh my god, I killed him! I didn't think Brave Bird would do that much, but after the close combat... Yeah, never mind about him hitting me in the close combat. He's faster than me anyway. But uh, Skarmory does end up uh, killing itself, unfortunately, but woo! Wow, those defense drops. Skarmory doing work. This is Gumshoe the game, man. Gumshoe's like consistently been the M MVP in like every battle I've done so far. Really, really great game against Ren there. Really, really fun match against him. That m match was definitely a lot closer than it looked. He was this close to sweeping my entire team uh, with his... Staraptor, but yeah, uh, Sticky Web did make a huge difference that game, which is why I have this uh, particular Sticky Web team. It worked out really swell. I'm glad this match turned out very well. So, pleasure playing against you, sir. GG. And if you guys enjoyed watching this, man, I, uh, check out the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel, as well as my Twitch TV page, my Facebook page, and my Twitter page. I live stream regularly. I'd love to see you. That's one of the best ways to battle me is on my live stream. But sometimes I look for battle requests on Facebook or Twitter. And I would appreciate it if you subscribe to YouTube because that's when I upload, that's where I upload all of my battle videos. So there's a lot of YouTube exclusive content there. And I'm sure you guys are interested if you love Pokemon. So anyway, thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this as usual. And in a moment we are going to go do some Pokemon giveaways for the people who are watching this live. So stick around, stick around. And then we'll be doing a couple more battles after that. So I'll see you all shortly. Let the giveaway commence.